YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Me and my sister were off to Nigerian Lagos, which we can tell from the video. This is just like part one us going, getting through the airports, and just like traveling. It's a very long journey. So it's an eight hour flight, so it's really, really long. We're dressed quite comfortably. I'm wearing my um, top from Nasty Girl, which is the key to love me. If you saw my Korean vlog, it's basically my basic airport outfit. I'm wearing the Nifkasi, but I'm wearing like just plain leggings, trainers, and a leather jacket. I've got my jumper in my bag in case I get kind of cold. I'm gonna start filming again probably once we get into the lounge because it's kind of cold outside. We're waiting for our train to the because we're currently at currently sorry at terminal five. We need to get to terminal four, so it's gonna take us at least like another thirty to an hour just to do and complete our journey. Then obviously checking our baggages, make sure everything's sorted. But yeah, I cannot wait to go to Nigeria. Like I've been looking forward to this forever. I'm so tired. Like I'm so sorry if I am. I literally came off a thirteen-hour flight from Korea. Had a day in London to get everything sorted and now I'm on an 18 hour flight just to go to Simple Lagos. So, yeah, so if I'm kind of dead and my eye bags are like grown significantly by the end of this like little get into Lagos like video, just understand why. Oh, I think that's our train. Why are you looking so me? Hey YouTube. Um, I can't really talk that loudly because there's quite a few people in the lounge and I don't want to like encroach. Is encroach the word? I just don't want to be loud for them basically, so I'm going to try and talk as quiet as possible. So yeah, we finally went through check, check in. Oh my god, look, I cannot even like explain the stress that we went through um, to try to check in this morning. Sorry, two seconds. There we go. Um, to try and check in. So obviously, we dropped my mum off at seven. Um, no, no, it's seven. I think we dropped her off around like six, so it took like half an hour to transfer to get to terminal four. And then before we could check in, but we couldn't, we had to wait until like basically 11 to check in. So we would literally just sit in that cluster for a good four hours before we got to check in. And then we just came to the lounge and now we've eaten so much food, like literally I've got like the biggest food babies, unbelievable. And got my glass of wine, as usual, my white wine. Love white wine. Um, but yeah, just in this nice little cubicle and it's quite nice and secluded and yeah, it's annoying because like we're gonna have to like go fairly soon um because we have to get to a gate and I think the gate opens around like one o'clock or so so I'm gonna literally like go in like a minute or two so basically change to my slippers, um, get my jumper on, just get ready for my flight basically and put stuff Yeah, and then we've got Burner Boy. 
Oh yeah, we've got Burner Boy concert this evening. I can't wait. Um, and our like, cousin slash sister uh, is like a massive fan of Burner Boy. She'll be obsessed. She'll embarrass yeah. us. <laughs> like, she'll call, she calls herself Burner Girl. It was so funny, last year we went to a debut day and um, <laughs> she, it was really hot, it was really warm, she was sweating a lot because she like, knew all the songs and she was really going into it. You know one of them like prayer warriors in church when she was, <laughs> she was, like, she was like that for that concert? I saw her and I was like, wow, this is my cousin. Like. <laughs> into our room as you can see as you walk in through the door there's like, this massive mirror which is absolutely amazing for when me and my sisters are going to get ready for like going now and everything like we don't have to fight for space like we would in the federal palace and then we turn this side it's definitely just in the way um but it's just the bathroom once again it's still quite nice i have a nice like shower room which is actually pretty good separate from a bath if anyone actually wants to take a bath which is just around here this gives me like a love hotel vibe, no lie though, because like, you can just see out through the bathroom. And then again, there is, I think, curtains, so you can just wind it down. They give you bathrobes and everything. Like, this is actually amazing. And there's not as much mold um, in comparison to like the Federal Palace. Um, once again, a massive mirror, great lighting. This bathroom is actually really legit. And obviously, the shower, bath, and the toilet is all separate from one another. Like, once again, like, you can't really fault this bathroom. Coming back out once again, you met with a mirror. Um, we've got a nice wardrobe. This wardrobe is massive, and I know we're going to be using it. it. This place actually comes with an iron and an ironing board. Federal Palace does not have this. You've also got your hangers, you can hang up stuff, and I think you've got extra bedding in case other people stay in the room. Um, this side, once again, extra bedding, safe, and you can just put like your shoes and stuff in the cupboards below here. They also give you like the thing that helps you put like your shoes in and some slippers, which is actually pretty cool as well. I'm moving to the actual room. This is just a, I'm gonna say king size bed. Sorry if I sound stupid, but I believe it's a king, king size bed. And then you have my sister just by the window, but then <laughs> they give you like free drinks and coffee. These ones aren't free, you have to pay for them, but like there's so much space is actually unbelievable. You're met with a TV and then yet again, you have a, another mirror. So as you can see, like, I think four of us are going to be staying in this room to get ready. So we're not going to be, like, squeezing and, like, pushing everybody out of the way to get ready. But then as you get here, you just show you the view from our hotel room. You can open the curtains. Oh, I can't do it. Not the greatest view, but it's quite nice. Oh, hey. So finally checked into the hotel. Um, now we're just going to go and get some food. Kitty's okay, making us walk. Not my choice, but what you're gonna do when Chili says that we have to do it. It's not even that long. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have to say four minutes. Anyway, yeah, we're the road is shit. Yeah, the road is not the best. So we're in Hamlet now, eating food. Next to see where I go. Just, I'm mean, eating white rice, stew, chicken, crystal. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna talk too long because my cousin is throwing shade at me and she's dragging me, saying that we're looking like tourists and I have myself to stick out in the middle of the But when in Rome, I'm tourists. <laughs> If you have my sister, but we are for it. I'm trying to vlog and show you what Lagos has to offer. So they look weird, they look weird. But yeah, we're just gonna sit down, enjoy our food. I don't think we're gonna film until we go to the Burner Boy concert, or maybe when we're getting ready to show you what we bought from like this idol or fruit. Yeah.